Hi, today we're going to make a festive fall project. We're going to use a photo frame and some paint and bring some colors into your environment. It's a lot of fun, so join us. Hi, this is Tweek. We're going to do a fall festive project very quick with very few materials. You might have them kicking around your home as I did. But start out with a photo frame. I got this one at, in the reduced rack for like six bucks. It's a great find. And we take the backing out of the photo frame and we're going to paint the glass. And before I paint on it, I want to make sure it's clean. So I'm just going to give it a rub. I'm going to paint right on this glass and I'm going to let the frame be what holds it all in place. It makes it nice and convenient and quick. Other materials you'll need are some fabric leaves. I've got two here, some beads, some glue, and some paint. And here we go. I take my leaves. I've got a maple leaf and an oak leaf. These are fabric. They come in garland and I just stripped off the plastic that comes on them. And I'm just going to place it randomly on my glass and trace it with a Sharpie. See my Sharpie here? So just right on the glass, I'm just going to randomly place it down. I don't have to be real exacting because leaves come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. This is a great time of year to bring these colors into your environment. Just overlap them and we'll figure out which of the leaves we make stand out at the end. You could put a piece of white paper underneath the glass so you could see your image better. There we go. Now, even just using my fingers or a Kleenex, let's get this straightened up here. I'm just gonna pull away the images I don't wanna see. I want this leaf to be a focal point. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of paper towel. Tiniest bit of water. That one's eradicated. And I'm going to come down here and I want this one, this line gone. So you're just going to highlight the leaves that you want to leave. And your leaves. <laughs> I'm going with red first because I'm going to make orange and yellow. And to make orange, I need red and yellow. So I'm going to go with red first so that I can add the yellow and then create the orange. And grab the paintbrush. I'm just gonna very quickly take red paint and fill that up. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want because when the light shines through the glass, you'll see your paintbrush marks. And if you want a more brilliant color, you'd add a little more paint. I'm not being real uh, exacting on here. I'm trying to get up to the edges. And we're going to have to let it dry and be careful because there's a lot of paint here. So I've got the red maple leaf filled. And what I'm going to do is very carefully, and it's one of the reasons why I like to use the frame on the painting, is very carefully lift up and look through the glass. And I can see if I filled it as much as I want to fill it. And I have, so I'm going to go on to the next color, which is yellow. Which one do I want to make yellow? That one. And this time I'm just going to pour the yellow right in and spread it around. This is another quicker way of doing it. And I'm going to kind of come up to the red and just barely touch. I don't really want them to mix. They mix, it's okay, but I'd like to have a little bit of a separation there.
ready to add in veins. So I'm going to use my tiniest little brush here. And I'm just going to touch, use the lid of this paint. So I'm not getting a whole lot on the brush. And I'm just going to touch the edge. And I'm going to pull out my fabric leaf again to give me a guide of sorts. And you can see where the patterns go. So I'm going to go just straight up. So now the black that I just added in the veining might look a bit severe, but I'm not going to put a backing on this one and the light will show through and you'll see the effect is it'll soften down those veins a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is hot glue this glass into the frame. I'm just going to run a bead around the whole edge so it stays in place. So let's do that. This is where I'm going to take a sharpie and put veins on this side too. Use the veins that I had on the other side as a guide. And you're trying to just tracing what you did. It looks a little more delicate from this side and when the light shines through it's, it's kind of a cool effect. Final step. I was going to add beads and then I talked myself out of it. I think they distract from the color of the leaves. So I'm going to do something else a little different. I just got the notion I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take my finger and touch the black paint and I'm just going to catch the beads that are along this frame with my finger. I think it's I think it's going to be pretty. Go with my gut here and I am already liking it. What do you think? Let's paint on the tip of my finger. Done. Done with the paint. Let me clean off my finger. And then we'll show you the finished project. Our finished picture. And it may look a little drab. It's beautiful in colors. But I'm going to put this without the backing in my window so that the natural light shows through. And I'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like. I've got my lamp here. And see if I can let you see what it will look like when the natural light shines through. What do you think? There's another way that I did it too. That one was just the clear glass. This one I did similar, same products, but what I did was I came with the paint around the Sharpie instead of painting the veins in with black. And then I took the backing on the photo frame and I painted it black. So this one can stand on its own anywhere you'd like to put it and you catch the colors that way with it, which is really pretty. So the one we did today will give you a natural light effect. And this one here, you can sit anywhere to catch the fall colors. Isn't it pretty? I think so. And there you have it, a fast and festive fall project to bring some color into your environment. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. See you again.